Now, with the multimeter, you could also test a, a little fly lead, which we've got here. Put that on the workbench again. And what we'll do is we'll take off the casing from the, the three pin plug and we'll check the fuse on this one. Again, you could plug it in. If it didn't work, it could be uh, either one of the wires had come loose or the fuse had blown. So the first thing to do would be to take it apart. Just undo your plug, all you need to do, and you can just take the casing off like that. You can then check the visual inspection, check that all the uh, cable, the wires are in place, which they are on this one. I always then go around and quickly uh, tighten them. Make sure they're all tight, like that. And then we could then get our trusty little multimeter out again. Set it to the ohms position, which is the one with the symbol there, the ohms symbol. If you can see that. And you'll get a zero or a one reading, number one reading there, which is correct. Do your test, take your covers off. Put that round that way so you can see it. Got a zero reading. Now we're going to check the fuse on this one. So you could take the fuse out or you can do it while it's in there. We'll do it while it's in there. So you just want to put one each end of it. And we got a zero reading. So we know that fuse is pretty good. And again, as we did in the earlier part of the video, you can take this apart and check the cables across, which we'll do now. Again, you can check these by putting the, just putting the connectors in through the hole. If you were doing this on a domestic property and you weren't sure if one of your, your light switches uh, or your plug sockets wasn't working right, you could just put these into the wall socket and take it that way. But uh, in this case, we want to do a visual demonstration. So we're going to take the casing off. It's quite easy to do. It's going to take a couple of minutes. We'll expose the wire. And then we just do a, a cross check like we did earlier. They will start on the earth. Some people do these with one hand. They can check it with one hand. It takes a bit of a... It's probably easier actually. So you can just put the connection on the earth there. And the earth there. And we've got a nice zero reading. You can see there. And we'll check it on the live wire. Live wire there. A live wire there. We've got a zero reading, and then we'll just do our earth. Not our earth, our neutral. And we've got all, all three of them working. So all three of those wires that running through that cable are pretty good. Uh, now if you did them, if you cross got them crossed your wires you'd get a false reading so if you was to do this through that hole without taking it apart you could do it if you weren't sure which one's which on these uh, they're not marked up they are on a plug you'll have live neutral and earth on the outside so you could get it right there but you're not sure on these ones if it didn't work for any reason and you swapped it around and it did work then you know it's, it's correct but I always find it easier just to pop it off and just check it that way and that's it that's all there is to it. It's a nice easy test. So you know the fuse is right. You know the, the wires are all okay. And that fly lead is good to go. You can put that back in your fleet. Into your van. And put it back out on higher. It's got a little slot on these as I said on the last earlier. So it just lock in. You just get that in. Hold it with your finger or your thumb. And just screw it back in again. Same on this side. Put the cover on. That 
and we're good to go. So, your trusty little multimeter, that's your friend. Uh, always look after it, keep one with you. They're very handy little tools to have, and uh, like I say, not very expensive. You can use a pa dedicated pack test and equipment for doing the same thing, but it's a lot more expensive, uh, and there's a bit more of a, a longer learning curve. I may do a video showing you how to use a pack tester. I do. I do have one of those, which I'll test my equipment once a year. I'll do a video of that at a later date. Uh, but anyway, that's it. It's pretty much a basic uh, piece of maintenance. We always do them on a Monday or a Tuesday. Uh, we take these if there's any damage over the weekend. We put them aside Monday or Tuesday when we've got time. We put them up on the bench and then test them all and then put them in back into the fleet again, ready for the next weekend. Or if there's, if beyond repair, we just take them out and, and skip them. And that's that. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. I'm John from Castle Kingdom, your go-to guide for all things Bouncy Castle Marquee related. And also we do tips and tricks um, and tutorials. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found that one helpful, there's another one over here you might find interesting. And I'll see you over there. Bye for now.